What up? And g'day viewers, I'm Michael. And I'm Janet, and welcome to this week's episode about inspired leadership. In this episode, we explore how to become the type of leader that inspires your team, your family, mates, and your community. We will share some stories and examples of inspired leadership in action and outline some steps so that you can sharpen your leadership skills and become the type of leader who can create changes, encourage creativity, and form a culture that thrives. So if you're ready to step up your leadership game, then listen up. What a... And good day, listeners. I'm Michael. And I'm Janet. And welcome to this week's episode about Inspired Leadership. So when you think of leaders who inspire, who comes to mind? Maybe it's a, an historical figure like Nelson Mandela, a tech visionary like Steve Jobs, or perhaps someone closer to home like a teacher or a coach or a mentor. The common thread among these leaders is their ability to inspire those around them, to ignite passion, creativity, and a sense of purpose. But how do they do it? Well, that's what we're here to talk about today. Let's look into some stories and strategies that can help you become the kind of leader who inspires your team, family, friends, and your community. So what is inspired leadership? Well, let's begin with what the word inspired means. Etymology.com has it derived from the Latin word inspirare, to breathe or blow into something. So the into, the in is the into, and the spirare is breath. The word was originally used to explain divine or a supernatural being in the sense imparting a truth or idea to someone. Too often the word inspired or inspirational is an accolade given to personality types who breathe into things insincerely or adversely. People who have major sporting prowess, artistic and performance talent, sales charisma, multitudes of followers on social media platforms, are duty bound to deliver inspiration in an authentic, vulnerable and compassionate way. We love this from actor Joseph Gordon-Levitt. The most valiant thing you can do as an artist is to inspire someone else to be creative. Inspired leaders encourage creativity. They foster an environment where creativity is encouraged and it feels safe. They allow teams to take risks and try new things without the fear of failure. They celebrate innovative ideas and learn from unsuccessful attempts. A great example is Pixar Animation, who's renowned for its creativity. One of the keys to their success is a culture that encourages creative risk-taking and it values every idea. No idea is wrong. Leaders at Pixar promote an environment where employees feel safe to experiment and fail, knowing that innovation, as it does with the Edison's light bulb, can often come from 10,000 mistakes. <laughs> Absolutely. And one of the other great traits of inspired leadership is to lead by example. And to lead by example, live the values you wish to see in others. Whether it's dedication, honesty or resilience, embody these qualities in your daily actions. People are more likely to follow someone who practices what they preach. A great example of this is the story of Malala Yousafzai. So growing up in Pakistan, she faced extreme danger from the Taliban, who opposed girls' education. And despite this, Malala began advocating for girls' rights to education at the age of 11 and writing a blog for the BBC under a pseudonym. In 2012, at just 15, Malala was shot in the head by a Taliban gunman while on the bus home from school. And this attack was meant to silence her, but it only amplified her voice. She survived and continued her activism, co-authoring the memoir I Am Malala and establishing the Malala Fund to support girls' education globally. In 2014, she became the youngest ever recipient of the Nobel Peace Prize. Her story teaches about courage, resilience and the power of standing up for what you believe in, showing how one person's determination can inspire millions. Another inspired leadership skill is the ability to show genuine care and empathy. Empathy, not sympathy. There's a great Brené Brown YouTube clip on this that we've talked about before. Look it up. Empathy in leadership means listening to and understanding the concerns of others. It's where you show genuine interest in your team's well-being, and this builds trust and a strong emotional connection, which are crucial for inspiring others. New Zealand's Prime Minister, Jacinda Ardern, showed profound empathy and care during the Christchurch mosque shootings in March 2019, where 51 people lost their lives. Her response was swift and heartfelt. 
She visited the affected Muslim community wearing a hijab, offering her condolences and standing in solidarity with them. This gesture was widely praised as a sign of both respect and empathy. She addressed the nation with compassion, condemning the attack as terrorism and emphasising unity with the words, they are us. She then took decisive action, changing New Zealand's gun laws to ban semi-automatic weapons. Her leadership provided comfort and unity to that nation, showing that empathy and care are really powerful tools in both inspiration and leadership. And what about inspired leadership within our family? Well, again, we need to step up to the plate and lead by example. And this can be challenging at times as we all feel stressed out or exhausted with the daily grind of busy days, relentless schedules, work and social pressures. And that's where we need to ensure that we're taking the time to put on our own mask first. You can't pour from an empty cup. So ensure that you give yourself the vital self-care and look after your own physical, mental and emotional health so that you can be the source of inspiration for your family. Ensure your listening skills are on point so that you are open to learning from other family members. And as we've mentioned before, particularly from our children, they can teach us so much about ourselves, having been witness to us their entire lives. Listening is a cornerstone of inspired leadership. Michael's always used the mantra when he's coaching that we have two ears and one mouth. So we listen twice as much as we speak. It's one of Stephen Covey's Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. It's first seek to understand and then be understood. And it's through this active listening that leaders can truly understand the needs, concerns and listen to those all-important creative ideas from others. This understanding fosters a sense of trust and respect as those around you feel heard. And when you feel heard, you feel valued. When leaders listen, they demonstrate empathy and openness, which significantly enhances team morale or family morale or mateship morale and cohesion. Active listening also enables leaders to make better decisions. And this is by considering diverse perspectives and inputs. Leaders can gain a more comprehensive understanding of the issues at hand, leading to more informed and effective solutions. Additionally, listening encourages innovation. When team members, family or friends feel safe to share their thoughts and ideas, creativity flourishes and new innovative solutions can emerge. And moreover, listening helps in identifying and addressing potential problems early. By being attuned to the concerns and feedback of your team or your family or your friends, leaders can proactively address issues before they escalate, creating a more positive and productive environment. In essence... Listening is so not just about hearing the words. It's about truly understanding, taking the time to connect and respond instead of reacting in a way that promotes collaboration, trust and mutual respect. This deep level of engagement and responsiveness is what sets inspired leaders apart and drives their teams, their mates and their families towards great success. Inspired leadership also involves communicating a clear vision. And they communicate this vision consistently and passionately. And they ensure that their team understands their role in achieving this vision and feel motivated to contribute. Think of Martin Luther King. He is celebrated for his exceptional ability to communicate a powerful and clear vision of equality and justice. His I Have a Dream speech, delivered during the 1963 March on Washington, vividly articulated his dream of a society where people are judged by the content of their character rather than the colour of their skin. This speech not only highlighted the injustices faced by African Americans, but it also painted a hopeful picture of a future where all people live in harmony and equality. It's one of my favourite speeches of all time. It's, it is, and it's, it's something that we're still working towards 50 years on. We're still working towards Martin Luther King's vision. We've been actually in the States when it's Martin Luther King Day. Uh, They have a holiday in January, I think it is, and we've been there a few times for that. I'm really grateful that that day is acknowledged. But guess what, folks? It's got to be every day, and it's not just in America. It's everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely everywhere. And his eloquence and passionate delivery rallied people from all walks of life to believe in and work towards this vision. 
inspiring a generation to join the civil rights movement, leading to significant legislative changes, leaving a lasting impact on American society and the world. Another part of inspiration is being flexible and adaptable, particularly in today's fast-paced world. The ability to be flexible and also to adapt is crucial. You have to be open to change and ready to pivot when necessary. Flexibility is a strength. It's a strength, so much of a strength, not a weakness. Think of a willow tree, these giant willow trees, and, and I know that people who've been in storm-affected areas, will they can talk about tr- the willow tree can almost bend to the ground and come back up again. And that's the sort of flexibility you need to be a great inspirational leader. Ernest Shackleton, an Antarctic explorer, is a great example of flexibility and adaptability, also resilience. In 1914, his ship, the Endurance, became trapped in a dense ice bank in the Weddell Sea. As the ice crushed the ship, Shackleton and his 27-man crew were stranded in one of the most inhospitable environments on Earth. Instead of succumbing to despair, Shackleton demonstrated extraordinary leadership by continuously adapting his plans and strategies to ensure the safety and survival of his men. Despite facing severe weather and near impossible odds, his adaptability and unwavering determination ensured that every member of that crew survived. We saw that with the Thailand. Remember the students who were trapped in the, trapped in the Thailand cave? I mean, the guy who got them through, if you haven't seen that movie, look it up. The guy who got them through had to think on his feet and be flexible. So you can't have a closed, stopped mind. You've got to be open and flexible. Inspired leaders are also obsessed with building a thriving culture. And to build a thriving culture, inspired leaders focus on the well-being and growth of their teams or their family or their friends. Remember, your title makes you a manager. Your people makes you a leader. The title will not inspire. Only your actions will. Inspired leaders encourage collaboration, celebrate success, and create a supportive environment. They make people feel valued and respected, which makes their team more likely to be engaged and motivated. Southwest Airlines is renowned for its really strong company culture. Leaders at Southwest prioritise employee satisfaction, knowing the very important fact that happy employees lead to happy customers. This culture of care and respect has been a key factor in their success. And we experienced this great culture when we flew with them last year. It was an absolutely awesome experience. Yeah, it was. They were fantastic. So becoming an inspirational leader is not about having a specific title or a position. It's about the impact that you have on those around you. By leading by example, showing genuine care, encouraging creativity, listening, communicating a clear vision, being adaptable and building a thriving culture, you can inspire your team, family, friends and the community around you to achieve greatness. So with that, lead on with inspiration and watch your world flourish at home, at work and in the community. Until next time, love and blessings. See ya.